A WBZ security analyst and former Boston Police Commissioner Ed Davis happened to be in Las Vegas today and was there last night when the shooter opened fire. He spoke with us about the police response and has insight about what happens next. I heard a, a lot of uh, police cars and ambulances. Ed Davis was in the city for a security conference when the shooting started. Putting, there's a shooting! There was a massive response from the police. Uh, every police fire, EMS vehicle you can think of uh, was heading down the strip. We got shots fired, 415 ASF. Region 91, sounded like an automatic firearm. Davis listened to the response on a police radio. Upstairs in Mandalay Bay, halfway up, I see the shots coming from Mandalay Bay. Down at the scene, you could you could hear the, the officers responding and clearing buildings, making their way into the Mandalay. The shooter was on the 32nd floor. He simply opened fire through the window, basically Let's on go. full automatic, just uh, raked the crowd with gunfire. It's... When police made it into the shooter's room, Let's they go. found 10 weapons. Nobody checks uh, bags at a hotel. It's virtually impossible to do that. So. Um, if you're there for a few days, uh, you could slowly and methodically bring the equipment in that you needed. It, it, clearly, this was very well planned. The next step, the investigation to discover why. They're looking for anything in the room, uh, notes and things that, that the suspect may have left. They're going to look at his computers. They're going to interview his friends. They're going to try to find out exactly what motivated this act. Ed also says the traumatic effect of this tragedy will take a toll on concert goers who were right there in the middle of it and on first responders. He anticipates PTSD will be a problem in the coming weeks.